Good afternoon. I hope this daily connection finds you well. This Sunday is Mental Health Sunday. It is a, an intentional Sunday in which we say yes. We have members and friends and family members and neighbors and acquaintances who are dealing with mental health conditions. We see you. We love you. We know you. And in a time of quarantine, it has heightened this to a whole new level as we are asked to physically and socially distance eat ourselves from one another. This is a whole new way of being. How are you doing? How are you finding ways to self-care in this time? And this is what this Sunday service is going to be about. It's just to simply name it. There are blue days. There are happy days. There are blah days. There are the kind of days that I just don't have words to days. And it's naming that and claiming that and being okay and knowing that you're not alone. I was reading an article in The Atlantic um, talking about how quarantine fatigue is real. And it sure is a real thing. In this article, it said that the Kaiser Foundation polled uh, the, uh, some, uh, some Americans, and they're saying over half of Americans feel that their mental health has been affected during this time, and how can it not? How can it not? We are doing things in different ways. We're not able to go traipsing in and out of stores like we normally would. We're not able to go to the park like we normally would. We are not able to gather with friends and family like we normally would. We're not able to go to church like we normally would. It is a different time. And so I am here to say to you that you're not alone, that God is with you, that God loves you and sees you. All that you are and all that you hold, God is with you in this journey. Your church is with you in this journey. And know that you do not need to be socially distant from your church. Yes, physically, but not socially. We will continue to reach out to you via email and Zoom meetings and having phone calls from our Call to Care team and me. Or if you'd like to chat, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. This is not a time for us to be socially distant. Yes, physically distant, but not socially distant. So as we gather on this day, take a, take a check. How are you today? How are you feeling today? Name it. And then know that you're not alone in it. That in the midst of this quarantine fatigue, find moments to rest your weary soul, but also find rest in knowing that others are with you in this journey. My friends, a big virtual hug to all of you, and I will see you tomorrow.